What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. This is tips and tricks for Cedar Point. Now you might say a lot of other channels and even you guys have done a Cedar Point tips and tricks before. Possibly. But this isn't just Cedar Point tips and tricks. This is the ultimate, ultimate. tips and tricks. A lot of those videos, including ours, tend to give some of the same information mm -hmm. like, oh, start in the back of the park and then work your way front and all this stuff. And those are all well and good. And those, especially if you're new to Cedar Point, can definitely help you out yes. throughout your day. Mm -hmm. But this, we compiled a list that's going to help you from the time that you almost leave your house mm -hmm. to the time that you leave Cedar Point. Mm -hmm. So get ready for the ultimate Cedar Point tips, tips and, and tricks. tricks. So just a quick note, these aren't ordered best to worst. They're ordered from the start of your day to the end of your day. So the first tip is don't arrive at opening. The reason you shouldn't arrive at opening is because there can be so much traffic going into Cedar Point. It will be such a pain if you get there when everyone else does. So either get there early or late. So usually they open around 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Don't get there at 10 a.m. Get there early, like you said, get there late. Something. Just but don't get there But if you there get there at, at 10, 10. o'clock, oh, it's a huge Lots mess traffic, and you're yeah. sitting in traffic and it's a horrible way to start your day. Mm -hmm. Now our second tip, you know when to get there or when not to get there, but this is how to get there. Mm -hmm. Cedar Point really wants to funnel people to the main causeway and that's probably where 80 or more percent of the people end up going. Yeah. But the better way to go is Cedar Point Road, or also known as the Chazé. See, we, we live in Cleveland, so we're coming from the east. So when we get off the freeway, we come out Route 6, and then we come up to this little fork in the road right here, and we turn right, and that leads you to Cedar Point Road and takes you by a bunch of houses and that, mm -hmm. and takes you almost like a back way into the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason that this is the better way to go is because, like I said, I don't know the number, I'm guessing 80 or more mm -hmm. percent of people mm -hmm. go to the causeway. Mm -hmm. So where's most of the traffic going to be? At the causeway. And one thing, there will still be traffic on that road, but it won't be nearly as bad as the causeway. So now you arrive at the parking lot. Now, the parking lot is huge with so many cars, it can be really hard to find your car when you leave. So one thing most people don't know is that in the Cedar Point app, they have a car finder. So as you can see in here, you click on the me part in the app and then they have a car finder right there. So you just click where your car is and it saves your spot. Mm -hmm. And then whenever you leave for the night you or whenever, your, yeah, you just look at your phone and, and see the location. It saves a lot of time. A lot of time, a lot of headache and mm -hmm. a lot of time pushing that little button, hoping the beep, beep, beep. And you're one of those people looking around for your car and stuff. Don't do that. Download the Cedar Point app, car finder. Boom. Boom, done. Thank Beach Cliff Studios when you find your car with mm -hmm. ease next time. Mm -hmm. You parked your car, now you're in the park, you're ready to ride, tons of great coasters around you, but you have your phone, you have your wallet, you have your keys, you have all these things in your pockets, and as soon as you start riding these rides, boom, they're flying out. Mm -hmm. They're hitting the ground, maybe hitting other people. You don't want that, so one alternative is to get lockers, but that's kind of expensive throughout the whole day and they'll take up a lot of time. So I have two words to save your day. Zipper, pockets. Most of my pants, shorts or pants or whatever, have zipper pockets. And that's because we go to so many amusement parks, I wanna be ready. Tuck all my stuff right in there, zip it up, and I don't ever have a problem on any rides. Never lost anything. Get yourself a pair of shorts or a pair of like athletic pants or something to have zipper pockets and wear those when you go to Cedar Point. Mm -hmm. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of aggravation if you lose something. Trust us and thank us later. And by thanking us, what can they do? Subscribe and like and comment and say, oh my God, Beach Cliff Studios saved my life. Easy as that. So the next tip. Now you're ready to ride all these great coasters. You can be overwhelmed, so much to do. And yes, definitely ride as many coasters as you can. But there are a lot of great flat rides at Cedar Point that a lot of people ignore. 
And so this is our next tip. Yeah, and our next tip is don't ignore the flat rides. Don't. Scrambler, Skyhawk, Max Air, Tiki Twirl, all these flat pipe screen. rides. Pipe scream. Pipe scream. All these flat rides that most people just overlook are really fun. It's a nice way to break yeah, up your day. It's a nice way to break up your Sometimes day. Sometimes they have shorter, well, usually they have shorter mm -hmm. lines in yeah. the coasters. So don't skip those flats. So here you are. You're in the park. You've ridden coasters. You've ridden flat rides. You've mm -hmm. listened to us mm -hmm. to a T. And you're like, this is a great day. But, hey, Beach Glove Studios, I just drank like three Powerades because it is like 90 degrees out here and I have to use the bathroom. Amusement park bathrooms are fine. Cedar Point keeps them mostly clean and they try mm -hmm. to do their best, but a lot of people are a little sketched out by them. Mm -hmm. There are these little buildings, bugs flying around. Our next tip are the best bathrooms at mm -hmm. Cedar Point. Now, one of them technically really isn't at Cedar Point. It's in the Hotel Breakers lobby. Mm -hmm. Now, anyone, you don't have to be a Hotel Breakers guest. No. We've gone in there plenty of times. In their lobby, they have a bathroom and it's a nice... Mm -hmm hotel bathroom so you can Very go nice. in there and be fine another place is back at forbidden frontier mm -hmm. if you don't know where it is or what it is it's like an interactive island, island. in the middle where they have actors and they mm -hmm. have all these things it's a Very lot of fun, fun. you should yeah, go yeah. check it out definitely but you can find this across from like the petting zoo area just mm -hmm. past millennium mm -hmm. you go back there and they have this huge like kids area where they have all this climbing stuff and they have nice bathrooms back there. They Very have family nice. bathrooms and and it's that's that's the place to go. If you're yeah. in that area and you have to go, that power aid is running through you, hit that spot. So you come out of those very clean bathrooms and you're very tired from all that walking and feet hurt. Yeah, your feet hurt, riding all these rides, very tired. So you see across the path is our next tip. What is it? Two words. Hammocks. You can lounge in those things, mm -hmm. and it, a lot of people don't know they're back there. Yeah. And you can you can lay down, take a little nap, get out your phone, punch up YouTube, go to Beach Cliff Studios, watch some videos of ours. You can do all sorts of stuff all while you're back there. Stuff. So you just relaxed a little. You headed on out. You kept going to the back of the park. Steel Vengeance, Maverick, that area. You're riding. You're having all sorts of fun in your day. You have your zipper pockets so you don't have to worry about your stuff flying out. But now you want to get to the front of the park. Our next tip is a way for you to do that without exerting all that energy. Mm -hmm. Because Cedar Point is a very big park. It's a huge park. Take advantage of their train and sky ride. Mm -hmm. Both of these are not only rides, but they're also transportation. The train gets you from the back of the park to the middle of the park or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And the sky ride gets you right from the front, almost the front gate to around the middle the of the park, park and vice and versa. Vice versa. Mm -hmm. Take a load off those feet. If the hammock wasn't enough, jump on those. And they're fun on their own mm -hmm. too. Oh yeah. They're transportation and they're fun. Mm -hmm. So definitely utilize those. Now the day is winding down and one of the best perks about Cedar Point it is on a peninsula right on Lake Erie and there is a fantastic beach running along Cedar Point. So how do you get to it? There is actually a entrance to the beach and exit that most people don't know about right by Windseeker. Now one, one thing that people don't like Cedar Point, you go to a lot of parks, they have one entrance in mm -hmm. and out. Mm -hmm. Cedar Point, has the main entrance mm -hmm. in the front. They have the resort entrance back by Magnum. They have an entrance by the marina, right by Val Raven. Mm -hmm. And then the one that we're talking about right here, by, by Windseeker, Wind mm -hmm. and it takes you right out to the beach. Very convenient. And it's really easy, and a lot of people don't really look and notice that it's there. They're mm -hmm. just walking by and they're looking at all these other things. Mm -hmm. so that's a great way to- Get to the beach get, if you're in that area. Get some access and go and relax out there and taking some waves, <laughs> your day is over, you go out and you're like, oh, let me find my car. You look on the app, you find your car. Mm -hmm. But just like how we said at the beginning that don't come right when they open, well, don't leave right when they close. Do not. People have talked online about horror stories, mm -hmm. about being stuck in that lot for an hour or mm -hmm. more, especially if you park 
in the back by like the magnum entrance and that, which mm -hmm. we didn't even really get to in this. Mm -hmm. But anywhere in the lot, you can get stuck and you're just there forever. That is awful. So leave early. Or leave late. Or leave late. Just don't leave when everyone else leaves at closing. So it's the flip. It, it's almost the same. It's almost the same tip. Don't mm -hmm. leave or come at the mm -hmm. same time. And another kind of flipped one, you came in that chaze. Whenever you leave, they'll try to direct you to the causeway. And there's a lot of traffic going out there. Now, at the southeast end of the parking lot, there's an exit that you can get out to the chaze and you go mm -hmm. out the way that you came. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't know about this because it's pretty new. Very new. And they have a gate. This footage right here from Google Earth is a little old, so it doesn't really show it. Mm -hmm. but, it's but, there. but it's there. Trust us. We've used it plenty of times. And they have a gate. They have a little arm that goes up and down mm -hmm. when you pull up to it. And you just make that left right out on the Chaze. And you look over and you see the Big, big line of traffic so and you see traffic. all those people waiting and you're just going right by them and you're just zooming and also zooming. you get out of the parking lot a lot faster mm -hmm. because you're over to like the left where most of the people are off over. to the right mm -hmm. there you have it we just talked you through getting there your day at the park all the way to leaving mm -hmm. now what you do before you come or what you do after you leave up that's to up you. to you mm -hmm. we don't have any tips or tricks of that <laughs> Well, one tip is when you get back home or whenever you get back to your hotel or wherever, watch Beach Cliff Studios. And while you're watching Beach Cliff Studios, hit that sub button, hit that right. like button, like. comment, comment. Mm -hmm. tell us how much you enjoyed this video, tell us how much you enjoyed all our great videos, mm -hmm. all our great content. Videos. If this helped you, leave a comment. Yeah, that's, we help you, you help us. We scratch like your back, fair trade. you scratch our back by subbing, by doing all that great stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and watch out for plenty more videos because we got lots more coming up mm -hmm. here on Beach Cliff Studios. See ya.